Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another video, and it's time to talk about the revival of Beer Money Reports, and here with me, because I thought it would be fun to talk with him about this, is the owner of Beer Money Network, AJ Downtown. Hey, hey Pharaoh, thanks for having me, man. No problem. Uh, I I'm I also wanted to have him on video as well, so I have the little pop-out here, a little, tiny little screen in the bottom right, but I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see him. Uh, so the new beer money reviews rating system, I want to go over this first that I was planning on. Uh, so I want to, so there were two things I wanted to do with this new, uh, review slash report system. I told, I was talking with you about this AJ a couple months ago. Um, mm -hmm. the first one was I wanted to make it a little more user friendly. So, um, having the default color rating be yellow just felt kind of off to me. Um, it sounded fine at first thinking, oh, well, just be cautious of these beer money apps and you're fine. But honestly, like, I feel like that might show a little bit too much caution because yellow is always a, a, it's a color for caution, basically. So. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. So I have changed that default color to blue and I'll, I'll go through each of the ratings regarding that in a little bit. Um, so that's the color system. And the second one, I want it to be a little bit more discreet. So there were certain things where it's like, you know, if the value is bad, instant red, if the barrier to entry is too high, instant red, stuff like that, basically. Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be a scam to be a red anymore because we had like maybe two apps that got a red rating in the original reports and they were outright scams that got thrown out. <laughs> Pretty early yeah, I on. think that should be something different, right? It right. should be like a like a do not enter sign or something like that. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we're not. Well, if they are a scam, they will eventually weed themselves out. I think I came to that well, realization. You, some of them keep popping back up, though. You know, the uh, what was that one that everyone was doing online? That's just gone through a whole bunch of different names and iterations. Um, uh, it was. Um, I have to remember the name. Healthy of it. steps fit. No, no, it was uh, it was one of the ones where you you bought in and I'll I'll, I'll find it. It's okay, um, but yeah, so we got a little bit more discreet as to like what constitutes a uh, yellow going to be a watch, red going to be a warning, don't go on it. Um, and I'm going to do a complete redo of my ratings, basically for all 25 apps that I have mentioned on this channel since the start of the channel. So here, yeah, all 25. I remembered it. I, I, I remember it. It okay, was the was Gemly it? one. It was the oh, Gemly one. Yeah, Gem but Gemly. It keeps popping up. Gemly would have been a up. much higher rating back in the day, right? Before these. When it started off, everybody thought it was doing well, but then the pyramid scheme fell out. But it, it's come back under a few different iterations. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, um, now knowing that, knowing that, um, Gemly is not one, uh, or any of its iterations are not one of the 25 I'm going to be talking about here. Um, I just realized we could do this on a tier system. So I actually have the tier system set up. Um, now AJ can't see this, uh, but I do have two separate lists for us. I have one for myself. You see Pharaoh at the top and here on the right is AJ's. There is an additional rating for AJ that is an NR between blue and yellow. That means that, um, AJ's does not feel comfortable to make a rating on it because he's never done it before. And um, this is solely for Beer Money Engine, uh, the 25 apps with Beer Money Engine. So none of his apps that he's recommended in the past, like Hive Mapper or Demo, are going to be on this list. Um, I do plan on reviewing Demo actually next year, though. So we will probably... You know, just got to redo t uh, this last week. So it, yeah. it's, uh, it, that, it's a whole new thing now. January is going to be Caden and Demo. That'll be the first two is what I'm planning on. Um, so uh, Demo might be moved to February, though. And then that might I'm, I'm going to say Caden's definitely going to be the first one because I'm going to get uh, an iPhone by the end of the year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then um, Demo, I want to be the second one, but it could be closer to the third or fourth. Um, or are you going to get the device? Like you really yes, need the device. I, I'm going to try to get the device so that we can get yeah. everything set up and all that. Um, so... Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the plans for that. And so that's his NR rating. Uh, so we're going to go through all 25, and let me go through this part of my uh, of my little uh, blurb here that I talk about the rating system and 
what each of these colors will represent. So green is going to be on top. Those are solid, good beer money apps that are both trustworthy and should help you make a good amount of money relatively effortlessly long term. Uh, now, like I said, originally yellow was next on the list, but yellow sounded like caution, so I have moved this to blue. This means it's just a default solid beer money app. You can play it. Um, I don't really recommend it. I don't really use it myself, but a lot of people could probably swear on it, and it's probably just a good app that pays out pretty well. Yellow is now going to be the new amber. So yellow will mean a watch. Uh, maybe it might be a little low on value-wise. It might be a little bit suspicious. We're keeping watch on it. It might, it might switch to one of the other ratings down the line. We're not quite sure yet. Um, so yellow is just kind of that kind of suspicion kind of thing that AJ used to tell me that's what he wanted yellow to originally be in the first place. And finally, red, which was originally just going to be straight up scams, uh, is now going to add on just those that have no real good value. Like the value is really no good, like not even more so than the level of that of a yellow like just significantly worse in value, um, terrible barrier to entry, um, shady company practices just in general, like way too shady that it wouldn't constitute a yellow or just outright scams. Um, I know, again, I used to use amber red to separate the very suspicious from the scams, but we're not doing that anymore. It should just straight up be red means just don't go to this app. Sounds pretty good. Seems pretty simple to me. So we are going to go in alphabetical order, or I should say numerical alphabetical order, and we're going to start with 1Q. So 1Q, I'm going to put into blue. So um, yes, 25 cents a question is absolutely awesome. The problem lies on that there just aren't enough questions to really make any decent money on this. Um, if you do get put into a good survey, they pay out wonderfully i've had a friend that did that got 15 dollars on a single long survey hmm. that was really good but overall you're probably just making about three to five dollars a month but it's convenient i think that um one q has some convenience in the sense that um you can kind of just keep it on your phone it's relatively a small app it's like a couple megabytes maybe for the app itself and yeah it's just very easy to just kind of just turn on and boom you can get onto a question anytime. So I'm giving that a blue. Uh, and AJ, have you ever used 1Q? No, no, I've never used uh, 1Q. I mean, that sounds simple in terms of just answer a question, get a quarter. That that that's, that's great. Uh, but I, I'm kind of put off by the the low amount that you can make from that. Um, maybe it's just worth it checking in every couple of days, I guess, and see if there's anything there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, it's not oh. just check-in, but they have a notification that tells you, oh, uh, new okay. question, do it here. But I get it like maybe once or twice a month. But when I do, it's usually like a $3 survey. Okay. You know, it'd be nice to just have on the phone for the notification. Sure. Yeah. So do you, uh, so I don't know, do you, I'm, I'm assuming you're just going to probably not rate it, right? Yeah, I haven't used okay. it yet, um, but... Yeah, it'll be one that I, I now try. I mean, shoot, yeah, I'll, it's just responding to a notification, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But like I said, 3 to $5 a month doesn't sound like very much, but for the amount of work that you do per month on one queue, like I barely even know it exists. <laughs> so yeah, um, not too bad. All right, so we're moving on to Amazon Mechanical Turk. Okay, so I'm going to put Amazon Mechanical Turk in green. And that is because even though I have not um, gotten a lot off of it, I know people who have been basically making part-time livings off of Amazon MTurk. And it's something that I just cannot ignore. I know a lot of people talk about that the pay has not gone up in decades on MTurk, but um, the pay is still some of the best of beer money apps out there. So... I mean, you're still getting 10 to 12 cents per minute of a survey. And if you do it fast enough, it's closer to like 20 to 25 cents a minute. So I would definitely give it a green. And just the selection, the amount of it, I, I got to go with green. Um, AJ, I think you've used MTurk, right? Oh, yeah, I, I have used MTurk. And the thing is, is, I've never been able to get much out of it personally. I've tried, but it's never it's never amounted to much to me. 
so for that reason alone, I have to give it a blue. I mean, it's not a scam or anything like that. I don't see any caution with it. Right. I just don't see it. it. It hasn't paid out very much for me. And I've been, you know, I've gone on trying and looking for stuff and I haven't been incredibly successful with it. So, yeah, uh, to me, that, that's going to have to be uh, probably a blue for me. OK, yeah, same here. Um, Atlas Earth. I mean, green. Green, I, this is going to probably, if not top, if not number one on my list of 25 here, probably going to be a close second or third. There is just, like, they have been just on fire this year. What, what do you want me to say? I agree. Like, there, <laughs> there were times when um, a lot of people were thinking that Atlas Earth wasn't going to amount to much. But yeah, I'd say especially within the last year year they've really found their stride and they're adding and adding and adding new stuff all the time now uh so yeah. it's it's gotta be it's gotta be green e even if you just casually play you're gonna be able to start making decent money within the first couple months it just it takes a lot of grind especially up front but yeah so, so that's the only thing that would keep it i think from being like the goat on this list is the amount it's of time grind. yeah it, yeah, it's you, a grind first. It'll take you a few months before you get any amount of money going in. But if you treat it, but if you treat it like a game and you realize and you keep at it for a few months, you will start making easy fifteen twenty dollars a month, which is yeah, like top 20 level. Bucks a month. Yeah, uh, yeah, twenty bucks a month, easy, uh, and that also that's going to require you to go in and watch a few ads at that point to to maintain that level. Yeah. Uh, that, that's that's pretty simple to me. Yeah. All right, Benjamin. Okay, this is okay. Um, you know what, AJ? I want you to go first with Benjamin. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, by you're saying that, you obviously have an opinion. I, yeah. I like Benjamin a lot. To me, it's one of those things where you set it and forget it. With the uh, you hook it up with the credit card. And it just goes, and I see all the transactions, and it gives you a portion back based on that. Or you can watch ads, or it does paid for gaming, and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, I put in probably as much effort into that as I put into other apps like Bridge. And in the end, I end up making... I've actually been doing a comparison of what I make between Bridge and Benjamin... Um, I end up making more on average with Benjamin for just about the same amount of work. So it's a green for me. It's an easy dollar plus a day app. All right. I might have you reorder if you if you think Benjamin or Atlas Earth is better amongst your green right now. But uh, we can do that at the end if you want. <laughs> uh, all right. So for me, um, so the fun zone... The fun zone has kind of ruined this for me a little bit. Uh, the daily logins are still pretty high. Yes, but like, I feel like there are other apps that can do what they do better. And when something doesn't count in the fun zone, their customer service support is not great. And because of that, I'm going to give Benjamin a blue rating. Um, I think they're still a solid app. Uh, they, they have a lot involved with that, but I feel like they're going to need to improve their customer service support and they need to take the, and I feel like they made the fun zone in a way to um, get some of the uh, issues with not with some games not counting off of their back and into a third party, which is not good to me. So um, I'm giving them I, a I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. Can I respond real quick? Yes, I, go ahead. And just say that, you know, I actually haven't, uh, done many, many of the, the fun zone or gaming since Atlas Earth released their Atlas Arcade. Mm -hmm. uh, so I haven't had to deal with the support there. I know initially their support was really good. I just say, here's what happened. Here's a screenshot. And they credit to me within a couple of days. It was usually pretty good. Yeah. Um, but if you're saying that, that it's fallen off, then that's a problem. Yeah. But I'm not basing my answer on the fun, the fun zone or the gaming center part of it. It's it's just based on watching ad, collect your daily bonus, get the transaction re rewards. Yeah, I, I got um, you. And the that transactions to me is worthwhile. Are, I think if the transactions were like a half a percent cash back at the highest level, I'd probably say that's enough for me to put it to green. But point one six, like, mm. are you talking about like? 
it, are you at the top tier at that? I'm at the top tier, yes. Top tier is 0.16. Is that, is that, man, yeah. did they lower it? No, bronze is point one. It's always been 0. 0.1, 0. 0.12, 0. 0.14, 0. 0.16. No, I remember it being higher. No. Oh, no, 0. 0.16. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. I have the uh, the visual in my head wrong. <laughs> it's okay. I, it's okay. I, it's, it's, yes, 0. 0. 0. 0.1. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, but on larger transactions, that turns out to be quite a good payment. Uh, like I've had a couple like thousand dollar transactions come through, and I get I get decent money from that now. That is true. I mean, I guess I just don't have the same transactions, and I don't think that you need to spe- need to be spending so much money to get that much. But that's just me. Um, cashback, though, that's a cashback. Yeah, thing I give me, them so. I give them the cashback credit. I do, but mm-hmm. the fun zone alone, I feel like, kind of ruins the app right now. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, And this is exactly why I invited AJ, by the way. (laughs) So, uh, we we can differ. We can differ. Yeah, just like we did so far with Benjamin and Amazon M Turk, we're already (laughs) two for three on that one. Uh, We're going to go to Bling Financial. So, Bling Financial, um, the value is just not there. I I just don't see it. I I feel like they're legit. I feel like everything about them is legit, but the value is just not there. I got to give them a yellow. Um. I know they give out some decent Bitcoin. Um, all I don't want to download a bunch of apps as well in order to play certain games, and that they don't have a centralized system also kind of worries me a little bit. Um, not so much that I'm going to just you know obviously tell people not to, I don't recommend it or anything, but if you want Bitcoin, hey, go for it. But no, yellow. I'm putting on a watch. There, there are better ways to get Bitcoin. Um, yeah, with a, with other apps. I don't know if they it's too scammy, but the the payout's just not there, right? So No, it's it's not great at all. So yellow, I guess. Yeah, yellow seems fair. Yeah, I think yellow's pretty fair for for uh for bling. Um okay, we're gonna go to bridge. I mean again, bridge, this is one of the other tops for me. One of my other top three. I'm I'm putting in green. I haven't figured out if it's higher than Atlas Earth or not, but um uh, I'm putting in green. Uh this what they did shake a little bit early on this year, but um, they've definitely hit their stride in the latter half of this year. Um, I I too will put it as green, but probably the lowest green. <laughs> green. Um, Is this because of the gift card I, stuff? Well, there's a lot of stuff. Like I've found my engagement with with Bridge has fallen off to just watch the ads and get the daily spin. Uh, I, I'm not seeing any other value of it. Uh, you know, you get the two cents per transaction. Um, I, I'm just not finding the value in in a lot of of what goes on on in Bridge anymore. Um, yeah, I, I I don't partake in most of the per- peripheral stuff now. The Besitos about- the Besitos games did kind of take a hit, but I do feel like the videos alone is a dollar a day. Like that's probably the big that's probably the big I thing. Get, I get better from Benjamin, right? Like the ads on Benjamin are, are usually shorter, so I can pump through two or three Benjamin ads in the time that it takes me to watch one yeah. bridge ad. Okay, traffic break there. We are moving on to Cash Walk. And this is gonna be one of the toughest mm-hmm. ones. Um green or blue. Oh geez. If if they did not get rid of the challenges, I would have said green easily. I'm gonna give it the highest blue. I'm gonna put it yeah, I'm gonna give it the highest blue. Um ten dollars a month still, even without the challenges. On Android or Apple, because that's a different question. Oh, that is a good... Yeah, that is good. Yeah, because it would fall like to almost $5 a month for the equivalent on a on an iPhone because the threshold's at 5000 for cash walk on that one. Yeah, they, they changed the valuation, and, and that's why it's got to be a low blue to me at, at, the, at the best. All right, so you're going to do blue or yellow? I mean, you still get paid out. Um... You gotta watch a lot of ads to get there, but you still get paid out. Uh, occasionally, I go in, especially when I know I've had a particularly busy day walking, and I know I'm gonna have a lot. Yeah. I'll go hit the button, but um, uh, it, it's blue. It's gonna be like a really low blue to me. 
Okay, yeah. I would for me it's it would be a high blue if you're on Android. It would be a low blue if you are on iPhone. I think that's probably the best way to to describe yeah, that. Yeah, that, that that cash out ratio yeah. is is different. Um what I haven't tried out to do is is log into an Android and see if I still have those same tokens I can cash out on that side. I have I haven't done that. All right. So let's um Okay, so I'm gonna take a deep breath for this one, AJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, gotta, I gotta prepare for it. Hold on. All right. So, okay, coin. I don't know what you're gonna say? Yeah, <laughs> coin. Uh, let's. Um, okay, so for me, <laughs> so for the, so for me, I could give it a yellow. Um, if I felt like there was any use with the XYO tokens. Um, and I, f I was originally going to give it a yellow when I started this. As a matter of fact, on the script that I had originally made for this before I decided, okay, forget this. I'm bringing an AJ. Um, I actually, actually originally had coin as yellow, as a, as a low yellow. But um, thinking about it, like, why, would, why should the value of an app be solely based off of the stock price of their custom-made crypto token? Like, why does it have to be something where it's like, um, you know, it, a thousand coin is four dollars and fifty cents of their crypto token. Either way, um, but why sh should it have to be based on that value? Basically, is what I'm trying to think. So, because of that, I'm gonna throw it into the red tier. And I know AJ's got a little bit more to say about this one. Uh, should I just go ahead and put this on red for you? <laughs> <laughs> so so here's the deal okay if you're paying for the app in any way yes at this point you're dumb it's right <laughs> the, the the valuation that they've uh the way they devalued all their paid tiers over the last year and a year and a half yeah it's crazy it's crazy i don't see why anybody at this point pays when they have to now fight and struggle to get their money back from it i uh, i don't get it but even on the free tier you're talking like i'm getting like maybe a thousand to twelve hundred coin a month that's like 45 to 50 cents a month that is like Right, they they nerf the ads. Yeah, they is that the, is that yellow level uh, value? I feel like that's red level value. That's a penny a day, two pence, two cents a day. That's not. That's the, that's red. So, tier. the company aside, and we know how I feel about the company. Yes. Yeah. Um. Do I still have a a phone out there that does it? Yeah. Is it my really cheap Android that I don't give a crap what happens to it? Yeah. Um, so, so, so it's just costing me electricity. To are run. you still red? Are you still red? Still yellow? Or yellow? Gosh, or... For if it, if you do non-paid, just have it sit there. It's going to be really low yellow. If okay. you're paying at all, it's red. You can't be paying for it. It's, <sighs> okay, the value 45. is just not there. Okay, I, I'm going to keep mine at red for now. But um, let's let's go back to this. Um, as I, as we go through, just keep mental image 50 cents a month is how much I'm getting on coin for free. 50, 50 cents, cents a month. month. That's it. Month. That's it. Uh, that's crazy for the free tier. All right. So we'll just leave that. We'll just see that because that is very borderline. Maybe if like I, 50 cents a month, if I dedicated saying, myself to it, it could be like $2 a month. Um, you're saying a thousand coin is $4 and 50 cents, uh, right? Right. So that right. means you're getting like 1200 coin, 300 coin. Month. 1200 coin a month. But I don't really spend too much time on it because I have so many other apps. If you really yeah. dedicated yourself to it, I guess you could probably get 5000 Okay, so that's like two two fifty a month. Oh, jeez. No, nah, you can get more than that. No, you can get more than that. You think? Yeah. All right, fine. I'll give it a, I'll give it a low yellow. I'll give it a low yellow. I'll, and, and, I'll and you know, it. it's it's hard for me to, to say this, right? Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a low um, yellow. I, you convinced me. You convinced me. <laughs> I, yeah, I think your number is a little off there. I think you'll make more than that. You okay. probably make about you probably make five bucks for an old I phone just to sit. Barely off use the side. coin these days. What? Well, it's because they nerfed everything else, and yeah. it's the same for me. And and the way that they treat the customers. I just don't want to uh, deal with twenty pop ups. 
but that's well, just Well, I me. just ignore them. I, I just leave the phone sit, sitting around. Once I start it, it, it just sits. Well, and I check it maybe once a day to to collect the daily holdal, but they've also nerfed that too, so, you know. Well, I'll just throw it in yellow for now. We'll, we'll come back to it in a bit. Um, yeah. Okay, coin out. Uh, coin out is a receipts app that I use. Uh, it's the highest paying of the bunch that I have used so far. And I think it's one of the few that I've actually been talking about. Um, I am going to give this one a, bl a low blue. Um, all you can really do is receipts on it. I really need to add some more stuff to it for me to give it a higher rating. But of it being the best of the receipts app, I got to give it a blue. Um, I don't think you've used coin out, so I'll give you a no rating. I on have. I have. Oh, oh you have? Out. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think? And so let, let me say across the tier, yeah. I'm not a fan of receipt apps right. at all. Um, I, I don't, I don't like the genre. I don't, I don't like it all. It requires you to take pictures and upload. And gosh, yeah. For all these in the digital world today, why are we doing this? It makes no sense to me. I, I, I am not a fan of the entire category. Uh, do they pay out? Yeah. Is that a lot? No. I would put that on a yellow. All right on yellow all right we're gonna move on to ember fund um easy green this would have been like a month ago i gotta put this as a solid blue now uh, the... uh explain what explain why yeah okay yeah uh, so the reason is because it they turned into a social casino i, I think just the shady ish practices there alone even if the pay is still fairly high for a crypto app um, already, like, strike one for me if it's a crypto, just in general. And this is mainly because of just my own experience with other crypto apps in the past and other and other apps that involve cryptocurrencies. Um, a bias. <laughs> a little bit, but I would go with a blue for this one. Um, and just having to do a 10x cash back, a cash through, 10x playthrough, I'm sorry, for, uh, for the dice game or the... Uh, the that game where you kind of have to guess the number uh yeah. things like that yeah and crash. they're trying to set it up so crash. that yeah they're trying to set it up so that they have like a 15 percent house that should get their money back uh, yeah that's not good i'm i'm going with a i'm going with a blue you still get a lot of money though how about you so me it, it, it's agreeing to me because even if all you did is go in and hit the button to get your daily ember yeah. Um. It's it's or daily um satoshi. Yeah. Uh. Which for people that don't know is the lowest amount of Bitcoin you get. It's 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 eight zeros <laughs> till you get to the decimal place to of one Bitcoin. But um, it, it's it's simple. Even if that's all you did, it's still one of the better paying uh apps out there to get satoshi by far. Actually, by far, it's one of the better ones. Um. So there's no effort there, and as long as you stick with that and the tournaments, which are free, it could just cost you an ad watch. You know, you can end up making a decent amount of satoshi for little effort, and you don't have to watch that. It's not a social casino with that stuff, and that's basically all I do. And you know, you can turn over, you can get plenty of satoshi every month by doing just that. Oh, well, there we go. All right. Uh, again, agree to disagree on that one. We're going to move on to faucet crypto. Uh, moving uh, traffic break again. We're moving on to Faucet Crypto and G. Uh, I had to I had to look this one up, AJ, because <laughs> I forgot yeah. I forgot this review. This has been a long time for for me on that one. I don't know if I know what is new with that. Uh, yellow. Uh, I remember it not being a very good. Um, I gave it like an amber, I think, or a yellow minus, maybe. I forgot, but I'm gonna go with yellow. Um, there's just better I apps never out there. Yeah. Yeah, I never played it. I never did it much because the payout was never worth it to me. So, so and I, I think yellow's fair. Yellow, okay. Yeah, yellow I think yellow's fair. Yeah, I mean, if they're paying, if they don't pay out, they go to red. Yeah, <laughs> they pay out. It's just not a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, it was never worth the effort to me. Free cash, my goat. It is a. It is. <laughs> it's my goat. It's green. Absolutely. Um, not their app. The payouts for their games are just slightly lower than Benjamin's Fun Zone but their their own system and they actually pay out and so and i moved to benjamin uh i moved to free cash from benjamin so 
uh, plus the 30% bonus with steak. Oh, geez. And you know what? I forgot to add steak on this thing. Um, Do I want to add steak on this? Steak's a social casino. Are you adding others? Um, I'm not adding other social casinos, but I haven't really done a review on steak yet. I, I mean, I haven't done a review on free cash either, but I've used it a lot. Uh, I'll just keep it at free cash for now. Green, though. Green. It's my goat. Okay. Um, what about you? So, I... <laughs> I was never a fan of. I'm, I use free cash. I'm just not a fan of it. Like, I'll, I'll do like the video things where I'll set off the videos and have them play and get the 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 coins that way. But, um, free cash always seems incredibly convoluted to me. There, it, it wasn't straightforward and simple as I like these things to be. Fair. Um. It, you know, it pays out, so I'll give it a green. All right. I'll throw it into probably a little lower green for you. Um, free cash is my goat. It's, it's got to be my <laughs> goat. Uh, we're going to go to go mining now. Um, so I did this. This is my most recent review. This is getting a red. I'm sorry. Uh, there is no free-to-play entry here. Uh, the barrier to entry is just not great. And I know there's a lot of crypto bros that hit my comments section on that that kind of got a little bit offended with my red rating on it. And I say, good. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> so. So, so I brought this to your attention, I think. Yes. Uh, when, when a whole bunch of people are talking about this. Yep. And it was highly, requ highly requested. Uh, I, and I'm like... I kept on trying to do the math myself. And I'm like, this just doesn't make any sense to me. The amount of money that you have to put back and, and how long it takes to get this return. Yeah. It seems ridiculous to me. And I thought I was, I was doing the math wrong for a while, but yeah. I'm fairly certain I'm not right. And you yeah. agree, right? My math is not wrong. It's, dumb it's I, I, it's a two-year commitment and you have to hope that the price of crypto keeps going up now I, i'm gonna leave an uh oh, let me first ask for your rating first and i'll go to my disclaimer on this i don't think anybody should be paying for it i i did 25 dollar ones just to make sure i i was right on on the math uh make sure i wasn't missing something right. uh it's gonna be it's gonna be a long while till i get my money back plus if you happen to miss a day for yeah. the um recharge cycle that's gonna and throw there's you a motorcycle another... by the way <laughs> okay go ahead it's gonna throw you back like a week or so every time that you miss a day it's it's yeah. it's dumb I can't. No, oh, red. Oh, oh, they throw you back. Oh, wow! I didn't even know about that. Right, okay. right. So, yeah, if you miss a the day, the maintenance, the, the maintenance. Yeah, checking? the maintenance goes oh. back down to zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I wanted to leave a little bit of disclaimer saying that I think the company is not a scam. I no, do not, they're legit. Yeah, yeah, they're legit. It's just there's no free to play options for it, and trying to make this an investment is an absolute joke. But uh. um. Yeah, you have to spend like the it's longer than two years. Like the initial payout is something like thirty two percent. So it's at least three years to get you your have money to back hope. On, on the lower tiers. Yeah, you have and to you don't hope. miss anything. You have to hope that you can get your money back and that the price of Bitcoin stays the way that it is. Otherwise, you might not get anything the next month. Yeah, uh, and the, the people that are putting, I know some people that put in a uh, ten thousand or plus into it. Yeah, and they're still only making fifty, so they're they're at least hoping on a, two years on a good day. Uh, you know, so but, no, I can't. I can't. But uh, to the crypto bros who are watching this, I will leave an olive branch to you guys. Um, Go mining will qualify for beer money mania if you decide to <laughs> put it on the ballot. Sounds good. That's my olive branch. It's, it sounds fair. Um, yeah. I'd like to see how it uh, how it stacks against. Yeah, e even if there is no free to play option, I'm willing to put on. The, I'm willing to put it on the tournament bracket and see where it goes. See, that that hurts, and that's that's what makes it less of a beer money thing to yeah. me, because you have to pay to play. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move on now to just play. Oh, geez. Um. So, lots of people I know swear on just play. Um, I can't give it a green, guys. I'm sorry. There's just not enough here for me to give it a green. Uh, I have played it. I, I tried playing it nonstop. I did every single technique that everyone has told me. And the best that I can do 
for a single day was something like 50, 60 cents. And if I did that every single day for a few hours a day, that would be like 18 to 20 bucks a month, which is great, but you have to put a few hours a day of commitment into it. That is not good. That's a part-time job, guys. Um, because of that, I do think it's still a solid app. I'm going to give it a blue. Uh, maybe like middle of the pack blue. Uh, but yeah, it's not, it's not what I think everyone says it is. But that's just me. Um, maybe it's different on iPhone. I don't know. AJ, just play. No, I mean, what you're saying is pretty accurate. Um, I, I, I can't even give it that. You want to give it a blue, I can't even do that. The amount of time and effort, I'd rather put that time and effort into other beer money apps that pay better. Yeah. So, y yellow, it's got to be. All right, yellow. Yeah, that's a, you know, I might move to a little lower blue, but I'll do the rearranging at the very end. Um, mm -hmm. Mac okay. Adam, I call it dollar store cash walk. Um, okay, uh, if you are international... <laughs> 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 you got me on that one. That's funny. Okay. Uh, if you are international, um, this will be a blue. But I'm going to go on an overall tier list. And since the audience is heavily 60% United States, um, I'm going to give this a yellow. And mainly because you can only pay out in Amazon gift cards. Look, Mac Adam is a fine enough app, but I think the number of steps you have to do to a dollar... Um, it's not going to be like another app that we're going to be talking about later on, but it's not a cash walk either. Yellow. Um, have you tried Mac Adam? I did for a little bit and gave up on it promptly because the payout wasn't there for me. Do I think they're a scam? No. Do I think it's worth too much effort? Yeah. So Is yellow it easy. Um, I, I mean, would the value be too low for you that you would put it in red though? No, because they pay. I mean, they can pay, and, and but that if they pay is, so that's badly. The See, the difference between me and, and Red is, like, I am not sure it is even worth clicking the button to collect the, <laughs> the monies, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> could you justify it? Yeah, I mean, it's not terribly much effort to do it. But... It, it's just not worth. It, it, again, I'll, I'll stick with the yellow. I'll stick with the okay. Yellow. I'll go yellow then. Um, we're gonna move on to Microsoft Start slash Rewards. Um, whew, blue or yellow? You go first. <laughs> you go first on this one. Oh wait, so wait. You know, I, you know what? I forgot one. Did I forget one? No, I did that. I I rearranged yours wrong. Okay, there we go. Okay, go ahead. Microsoft Microsoft Start. Okay, right. so I've been I, I am been using Microsoft Rewards since its inception, right? Right. I actually I actually used the app uh, that Microsoft bought to incorporate into Microsoft Rewards. Yeah. Uh, before that, um, initially it was pretty good payout, right? Yeah, right. It paid out well to do all the tasks and everything. Um, and and I still have quite a balance from from that time period, but now is it worth it? I mean, turn it on and let it like record your searches, and that's about all I care about anymore. Is it worth doing anything specifically for it? No. So, do they pay out? Yeah. Is it a lot? No. So like five no. to ten bucks a month. Maybe uh, I don't know. Well, let's see. If I, you know what, if. If you can still get ten dollars a month out of this, but how much effort for that ten dollars? Not too much. It's just search engines and just the and just the yeah, That's all I do it for. Yeah, that's all low I do blue, it for. Low blue, low blue. I've got to go low blue. Um, yeah, we'll go low blue. Um, I'm on the fence here. I yeah, it pays out. It does pay out. It's just not a lot. I think you can pay out if you do it every single day. You can get ten dollars a month. It's Semi convenient. It, 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 it's on the browser. It's about what five minutes to go through the browser stuff to get yeah, the full reward. Yeah, a lot of it comes day. down to that cooldown for the search engines, which they sometimes put on and off. Um, I would All say right. if yeah. if it's off, it's blue. If it's on, it's yellow. I go with that. I, I think you got me. I, I'll give it a blue. I'll give All it. Right. A blue. All right, uh, we're gonna go to misplay next. Uh, who? 
It's a great okay. So misplay's problem is consistency. <laughs> um, it starts great. After you hit about thirty, forty dollars, it turns into absolute garbage. And because of that, this is going to be like other apps. <laughs> this is going to be huge. And just because of they're kind of the original. I know a lot of people love misplay. And I don't want to give it a rating that people are going to get like all up in arms over, but I got to give it a yellow. Um, I was actually even thinking about red for a little bit, but um, they pay, they're decent. They just don't have, they just don't have enough. You got to do more than just play games like playtime in order to do something these days. Um, mm -hmm. And it starts great, 30, 40 bucks, but it then goes into nothing. Yeah, yellow. So that's the typical, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, the typical mode for scam apps, right? Yeah, offer high rewards in the beginning, but then immediately curtail where you can can't really get to that uh, cash out tier, yeah. whatever it is. Um, I know misplays around. I know misplays legit. They're legit. Uh, they're legit. Uh, and they were better, but where they stand now, it's it's got to be yellow. All right, yeah. Um, we're gonna go to Neil Bucks now. Uh, red. I mean, this one is an obvious red. Um, it doesn't matter international or U.S. Maybe a little <laughs> higher red if you're international, but like they don't even have a PayPal payment processor, dude. Seriously, like. What is these guys? You know, I I don't even. I no. tried for two days and wasn't able to get much out of them at all. Yeah, and, four or five know, cents a day. I, I don't disagree. You have to keep going disagree. for thirty days, and just the rented referral thing, which had cost my friend a couple thousand dollars back in the day. Yeah, no, absolutely no, nope. absolutely no. It's a red. Agreed. Go away. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. All right, one pulse. One pulse for me is a green. I'm consistently getting 15, 20 a month. Um, again, it's like one Q, uh, gives me a lot more notifications. I get 20 cents, right? Currently 20 cents. You'll start at 10 and you'll eventually get to 40. Um, very solid app though. Uh, gives me lots of good stuff to work on and to build my XP up if I want to. To get more money, basically. So, yes, I'm going to give it a green. It is a good app. Interesting. I, I have one pulse. Mm -hmm. I've, I've tried to use it. I have it on my phone. I've tried to use it. I was never able to get much out of it. Um, I could never get anything higher tiered or, or higher paying. Um, Again, it's legit. It'll pay out. And I know some people get pretty decent from it so for that it's got to be a blue for me but i i i can't give it a green because i haven't seen incredible value from it no problem uh we're gonna move on to paid viewpoint paid viewpoint i am paid viewpoint um who the thing is i could actually do more with paid viewpoint if I actually just opened my email and did the surveys. Here's the thing, AJ. I'm a busy guy. <laughs> what? What? And yes, the screen out questions do give you 10 cents, but they're like 10 to 12 questions. And that is a little, and it is a little bit more than a minute for the screen outs still. I do like their screen outs. Mm, the lowest of greens the lowest of greens yeah the lowest of greens you think it pays people. out that well for for getting a green huh uh, uh you know what i gotta think about this if if i did every single survey and i did everything that i'm supposed to do there i think it does pay out more than cash walk these days so yes i'm gonna go <laughs> i'm going with i'm going with it i'm going with green and and cash actual cash not just walmart gift cards right which i guess well, are good as cash but not really you already know where I place cash walks, so yeah. um, I don't know. I, I mean, if again, you've never I tried it, you can go non NR. That's fine. Because you've never done paid viewpoint, right? I have not. Yeah, I can give you an NR for that one, just like with give one me point. an NR. Okay. Yeah, I want to. I want to. I want to take the easy way out on this one. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. 
All right. Real Rush. <laughs> That's a red. That is the biggest garbage I have ever seen for an app. I, I, I mean... It's even worse than Profit Pie. It is worse than Crypto Scoop. That thing, everything from the way they advertise to the way the app works to the way that they try to pay you out, it is 100% garbage. It is, it is, it is, Neobucks is above it. Go Mining is above it. I am not, no. <laughs> Does that actually pay? Real Rush pays? I mean, Neobucks I will pay. I mean, does it pay? Neobucks does pay. Have People, you... Neobucks ha are still paying, yes. No, I meant Real Rush. They don't pay. They don't pay, then why is that? As far as uh... I know, they don't pay, but there's a lot of comments from, I'm pretty sure, bots who say that they do. It's like, what are you talking about? I just got $10 of Real Rush. It took me six months. Well, bot, if it takes $10 to, make, to do six months, that's still pretty bad. Well, the bots are getting paid, so... <laughs> so I'm assuming red. <laughs> okay, four apps left. And we have RollerCoin. So, here's the thing about RollerCoin. I find it a lot of fun. I find a lot of fun in casual doses. Beyond the casual doses, it's not... It stops being fun. And the problem is you, you have to play it to a point where it stops being fun a hundred times over to make any decent money out of it. Yeah, that's exactly my point. You can't just play it casually fun. And the value is so bad. Like, I make more out of Mac Adam. I make more out of coin. I make more out of misplay after it's drained down. So, so red. Back in... Yeah, but back in the, <laughs> the, the beginning, <laughs> when when it was first kind of introduced and went around, and I looked at the math, it didn't make much sense to me. Highest then. of reds. And, and I know that they've only nerfed it since then. Yeah. So it, it's got to be, yeah. Red? All right. Mm. Uh, we're going to go to Sweatcoin. Sweatcoin. Um, Are we talking Sweatcoin or Sweat Wallet? Um, I mean, they both count as one. Sweatcoin is okay. red. Uh, probably just above Go Mining, between Rollercoin and Go Mining. Sweatcoin doesn't really pay much. I mean, deals for a one Sweatcoin is not a deal. Um, and Sweat Wallet is like six thousand for a single for like point six cents. Man, come on. You know. I, I'll put it under. Uh, I'll put a low yellow just because it's a matter of just three ads a day um, for for the effort. So the the payout for the effort is is very minimal. So it'll be a low yellow. But that's only sweat wallet. Sweat coin is useless. All right. Top cash back. Uh, so I've already done this review. I'm going to stick with my green rating. Um, top cash back is. A very good app with cashback rewards. Probably the best of its tier. Uh, you could argue maybe Rakuten's a little bigger. Maybe Swagbucks might have deal better deals here and there that are special offers. But top cashback, I think, is uh, cream of the crop when it comes to these rewards apps. So I'm giving it a green. Although, probably on the lower end of green. Uh, um, uh, uh, <coughs> it, agree that it's green. I, I do. I, I agree that it's a green um, I, I find that it's cash back is usually among the highest, but I have sometimes have a hard time getting it to register everything. Yeah. And occasionally I do see, believe it or not, I see Benjamin with matching or higher cash back. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I, I get that. I'm, I'm just feeling like, you know, with Vitacost, Walmart and all the other cash back places that they have. Yeah. I, Green, I mean, it's not going to like, it's not going to be a goat, but it'll get no. you some good, it'll get you some good cash back if you know where yeah, you have it there with everything else. Who cares? It's yeah. just another one to be. And on. sure. finally, Upland. Uh, <laughs> we, all, <laughs> we all, we all love Upland here. We, we all know it's, it's he who must not be named on the Beer Money Network. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, 
Well, I guarantee you it's not green or blue. <laughs> That's for sure. Mm. Um, but I do go back and forth between yellow and red depending on... Okay, so on one hand, the value is enough for it to be a yellow. And the company itself, though, tends to be... Uh, borderline yellow red on shady i would say it's it's on the border like there's worse companies out there there are um up i get it upland's a company they're doing their best on with what they can do um but like the nerfs that they added to the game the amount of money that they I mean, they just added a nerf last month last week a couple weeks ago i'm sorry of with the treasure hunts you know adding uh now it's 15 standard hunts now you can do per day instead of 30. Like oh, they, they went all the way down to 15? Well, it's um what used to be the 1 to 10 rate uh fee is now 1 to 5. What became the 6 to 10 fee is now or what became the 11 to 20 fee is now the 6 to 10 and what became the 21 to 30 fee is now the 11 to 15. Mm. And mm -hmm. they also have some other even higher entries entry fee points now where you have to pay as much as like 800 upics now for a single standard chest that will get you a minimum of 230 upics that is that's a good value right there <laughs> yeah exactly right um okay where would you put this so i is yeah, this is tough. The, the, <laughs> this is the a tough barrier one. to the barrier to entry for a new person is just too high. It, it's it's too high. Um, well, they do have a tutorial and, that allows you to get to like ten thousand upics pretty quickly, and maybe like twenty five to thirty if you know what you're doing. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, mm, man. Um, but 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 how do you get that value out? That's where the problem comes. You have to sell things. And that, to me, is the place where I have to put it in red. All right. Put it in red. Um, see, I, I have to, as someone who probably knows Upland better than anyone in the Germany network, mm -hmm. this is, um, and we have a few big Upland names that are on the Germany network now. Um and they're all One, welcome. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Laser Flip, Radish Head. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Many of them have converted to Atlas Earth. Um, and some of them still play both. I think Radish Head still plays both. Um, I still technically play both, but I'm planning to be on my way out in January. I uh, log in completely. every day. I grab my... <laughs> I can't even do that now. I can't even do that. I... Oh, geez. This is hard. This is really hard because... Make a wise choice. Because, like, you made a very wise, very good point on the barrier of entry, AJ. And all I was thinking is, like, can you, I can get to twenty five to 30,000 upics pretty easily today. But beyond that, there's not much there. And there's also, I remember your own experiences with the community. Mm -hmm. um, and if this were just the community... The only app here, if we were going just based on community, the only apps that it would be above are Neobucks and Real Rush. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> but um, we're looking at the overall body of work, the value. You can make, although albeit much lower amounts now per day, you could make something like 7 to $10 a month. Can you? Let me think. 700 Well, I guess oh, in their Upex. Yeah, in, in their Upex. But remember, in four. this... For for you to win, somebody else has got to lose. Somebody's got to pay out. Yeah, and and that to me is hurting. It's not a win win scenario, right? It's not like watching ad the the advertise, advertiser pays the company and pays and and the company pays you. No, no. The only way to make money from Upland is for someone to actually buy from you, like real money, fiat True. currency. True. Hmm. Yeah, and that turns it into a bit of a, almost like a Ponzi, like a pseudo Ponzi. Um, it, it, it just makes it tough to cash out. Because, because you're going to have at least 50% of people in a game like that, 
where you're going to get money from other players and they're taking 5% of the rake, that means less than 50% are going to wind up making money from this game. Yeah, okay, that's enough. That's a red. That's a red. Yeah. Th that, that to me is to get the money out is incredibly difficult. Not to mention that you have to verify yourself and do all this other stuff. Yeah. To even be able to sell on the web. Yeah. And, um, and, and I understand that they are giving away some free money with treasure hunting, but they are trying to make that smaller and smaller. Um, so its rating is heavily dependent on the treasure hunting aspect of the game. And right and they now, keep nerfing it. and they keep nerfing it. So yeah, red. Yeah, so um, I'm gonna make an overall. Yeah, I'm gonna make an overall <laughs> based off of our um, off of our lists. So uh, free cash. We both said green. Atlas Earth both said green. Okay, I'm looking at the ones that we probably are are disagreeing with. So okay, um, Wait, there was a couple. There's quite a few. Yeah, there were quite a few. So we're gonna start with on my list one pulse. I said green. You said blue. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I feel like if 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 someone's vouching and telling me like I can I convince you to move it to green? Not really. Um I'm making 15 a month though off of it, which is terrible. pretty good. Yeah. But you have I to was, grind your way to that. Yeah, my success on that has never been that high. Okay, I will put that at like the higher blue end, I guess. Um, Amazon M Turk, you got blue, I got green, but I'm telling you, man, the earnings on M Turk. Now, M Turk, I can try to convince you to try to get to green just off the value. And, and maybe you should at some yeah. point. And may, maybe you should convince me what I'm doing wrong here. Yeah, maybe well, I'm doing something wrong. Well, I, I would say I would say the value. There's just a lot of value in M Turk. You can get easily a okay. dollar, two bucks a day off of it. All right, fine. You could convince me of that with the proper evidence. So sure. All right, yeah, so we'll do, so I'll keep Amazon MTurk at green. Um, let's see, uh, what else on my end? Uh, paid viewpoint, it, well, that's an NR for you, so don't worry about that one. Um, okay, I'm going to go to blues. So I agree on one pulse being blue for this rating list, although that's that might be reevaluated in the future. Benjamin. Mm -hmm. um, Benjamin... Your problem was with the, the gaming. The fun zone, well, yes. Yeah, the fun zone, which I don't really use. Uh, it's all the other aspects that I like about it. Yeah, okay. Um, the cashback, are you really making that much, though, with the cashback? Because if you're spending... Okay, let's say you spend $2,000 in your credit cards a month at 0.16%. That's $3.20 a month. Plus that's just the, for that. Plus the daily logins, which are $0.05 cents a day. Five to fifteen. Five to fifteen. Let's say that you're getting ten cents a day then off of it. That's another three. That's six bucks. So that's six bucks a month for doing nothing plus the video ads. Ad watching, yeah. Um I and mean I can I can blow through a hundred to two hundred ads easy a day. I mean can can the ad casual beer money person though? Well, if they're sitting there watching ads, it's still a penny. Why don't, an you, ad. Why don't you just blow through fifty bridge ads first? Well, I do. I have two phones. Gotcha, one phone. gotcha. So, and this this is how I'm actually doing it, right? I have one phone that I'm doing bridge ads and one phone Benjamin. Yeah. And I actually compare the rate of how quickly both of them get mm. to a dollar. And I'm I'm making it quicker um, okay. on the ad watching okay, here's on the, the Benjamin side. Here's the litmus test on this one. Can Benjamin make more than one pulse without the games, without the fun zone? I wouldn't see why not. E even if you do fifty cents a day, that's fifteen dollars. Can you do fifty cents a day? That's ten cents plus. That's that's fifty ads. That's the same as uh, you'd uh, if you you'd if you can bridge. get if you can get fifty ads. I get like maybe fifteen a day. Oh no, I I haven't been limited in months. Oh okay, well um, I'll put it as green for now. That can always change. Then I'm gonna put sure. the lowest uh, green though, but I'll put it there. Um, Ember Fund is the next one. Uh, I have blue, you have green. Mm -hmm. Um, I understand your the social gaming aspect. Yeah. Um, but if we're sticking with just hitting the button every day and doing the free tournaments, um, I mean it's pretty simple, and none of that none of that money has to be washed. So that's something that you could immediately transfer out if you wanted to. Uh, it's about three hundred to four hundred satoshi a day. So you're thinking twelve thousand satoshi. That comes out to about like ten bucks a month. That bucks a month for hitting a button. 
Mm, mm, I mean, that's like cash Literally, level, isn't it? But you're only hitting one button maximum. F- you're you're only uh, well plus the tournaments. Watching one ad, tournaments. maybe four ads a day for Ember. How many are you doing that for Cash Walk? Mm. You're doing you're doing twenty ads every day for Cash Walk. I whew. to get that same rate. How about I just flip a coin on this one? <laughs> I'd, I'd rather take those twenty ad watches that Cash Walk requires me, and I'd rather go watch it on Benjamin and get twenty cents straight up. You can get twenty cents straight up from twenty ad watches on Ben. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, if you can get twenty, oh, well, if you can get twenty, um. I don't know anybody uh, like I, I I read through our, our our channel Discord channel on Benjamin and I don't see anybody hitting the limits anymore. Okay, uh, so Ember's still ten for hitting a button. I mean, and that's one button that that, that assumes you do nothing else once a day. And there's I a two dollar there's a two dollar fee with cashing out too. Or did they get rid of that? I haven't. Well. I, I don't know that answer off yeah. the top of my head. I think the I just think the overall body work I got to keep it a blue man. Maybe a little higher on the blue, but I got to keep it a blue. Then I'd have to make sure that Benjamin gets down. I mean, I mean not Benjamin. Uh, Cashwalk. I mean, Cashwalk is still blue. No, Cashwalk. Yeah, I put Cashwalk okay. to blue. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Start. So let's see. One Q. Okay, just play. I have blue. You have yellow. Yeah, the the value was not good. I mean, I've heard people swear on Just Play. I'm going to give it a yellow as well. I'll give it a yellow for the overall rating. You, you have a good point on that one. Um, coin out. I have blue. You have yellow. I mean, yeah. How much How much do you make a month no, on the receipt? Yeah, that's a yellow. That's a yellow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, I'm like receipt apps, yeah, but it's like if I'm going to... If it's ten bucks for a button with Ember Fund, and I'm giving that a blue, I don't think that's in the same level. As, oh, it's it can't even be anywhere close. Cash out's nowhere. Yeah. Coin out's yeah. nowhere close. Yeah. So Microsoft Start, we got blues. We got uh, so we'll go down to the yellows now. Uh, bling coin misplay. Um, Fawcett Crypto and Mac Adam. Yeah, I think we agree on all. Yeah, those, we agree right? on all those. I think Sweatcoin is the last one. So we're doing the 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 effort to hit. I'm the red. You're yellow. Button. Yeah, I'm red. You're yellow. By effort, I still gotta go with red because it doesn't pay anything. Sweatcoin doesn't pay anything. I feel like it just doesn't. It pays like nothing. I'm gonna pop mine open now, right, real quick. To, to you see. even showed me back in that one video with Sweatcoin and Coin. Like, how much that you got in, like, a year and a half, and I'm just sitting there like, seriously? I'm just saying, it's, that's like red-level garbage value right there. Like, that is just Uh-oh. so bad. What happened? Uh, uh, all right, I'm doing the math on how much that's worth. Okay, you got me. <laughs> all right, red it is. Um, y- you got me. Okay. To me, it's just an ad, so I don't really care. So, but uh, you're right. It's it's not a lot. It's not a yeah, lot. Yeah, we're already like got to be close to an hour. So I'm just going to do top three and bottom three for each of us then. Um, top three for me, <laughs> free, ca- free cash Atlas Earth Bridge. That's what I'm going with. Free cash Atlas Earth Bridge. Yours? Okay. Um, At- Atlas Earth agreed. Uh, Benjamin, I know you're not going to like it, but to me, it's still there. Yeah, well. And... Uh, and, and let's go with bridge because let's let's face it; those are the three I make sure I do every day, pretty yeah. much no matter what. They're the ones I make sure I do. And, and I still so, do yeah, Benjamin. Be the I value. still do Benjamin every single day. I think that twenty five dollar threshold also kind of gets me too. But all right, yeah, I hit that. I hit that less than a month, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, to me. Plus, okay, I'm I'm a little bit more comfortable with Benjamin as a green now because there are more opportunities other than those things that you have available. Um, if they ever get the fun zone working properly, and they might, I don't know. But if they ever get it working properly, it is a great find. So, okay, I'll put that in there. But I still say free cash is the goat. Um, so, 
Uh, you and I, you're gonna have to show me what I'm doing wrong here because I'm just not getting that much value out of free cash. But worst three on this list: Go Mining, Neo Bucks, and Real Rush. I, yeah. <laughs> so ne- Neo Bucks and Real Rush, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Go Mining, man. Is your there choices a less... here: Upland, <laughs> the... Roller Coin, Go Mining for your third. One of those three. Oh my gosh, these all are horrible. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, roller coin. Look, at least with roller coin, you can be free to play. All yeah. right. You can still do that. You, it's got to be go mine. You can't do a free free to play and you just don't get the payment from it. it it's got to be. It's got, I agree with you. Okay. I agree with you. Well, that's the list, everyone. Um, the list that I have here that says Pharaoh is going to be what will be in the initial reports um, that will come with this video, and you'll see it on the Discord server. And this can change at any time. I'll let you know when they change, though. And that's going to be pretty much the video. It's been over an hour, and it was a lot of fun, AJ. Oh, always have a fun time. And he's going to be back for Saturday for another Beer Money Roundtable, so go check that out. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like, go subscribe to both of our channels. And like I said, I'm going to do more of this with AJ down the line, especially for the holidays, because, um, the holidays is very busy for me. Yeah. Busy for us all. (laughs) So, um, we'll see you all, uh, next time. Any last, uh, any last things you want to say, I guess, AJ? Look, anybody should uh, come and uh, tell us why why we're wrong. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're happy. We're happy to hear. Maybe we missed crypto something. bros. I'm... Come at me. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, we're we're open to learning. And if there's a way to improve our gameplay, to uh, improve our beer money payout, help us learn. Yep, help absolutely, learn. absolutely. That's why that's why we are a community. Uh, we will mm-hmm. see you all next time at the beer money roundtable. Bye, everyone.